today, John. You're changing into a C-Class. What did you think of the B180? B180 was a fantastic car. I, I, I've never driven uh, a car of that quality before, and uh, it was only for a short time with the changeover, but uh, it was fantastic. Uh, obviously, all the safety features are there, but didn't need them. Uh, it's come back in nice order, and uh, it's been a very comfortable dri uh, drive uh, for the past uh, couple of months. It's been good fun, it's been very comfortable, um, and it's served uh, our purpose beautifully. You've had a brief glimpse of the C-Class outside, but you'll get taken through that in a few minutes. What do you think of that car? Well, that's a little bit uh, more again, so uh, that, that's going to be a nice experience too. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. They're lovely vehicles, very safe. Uh, uh, they look great on the road, no doubt, and, uh, and we're happy to, to be driving around with uh, Tyne and signage on the car and uh, promoting Tyne. It's, it's a good connection with our cricket club. And the season's almost coming to a close at the end of summer. You've got another three games left. Uh, what are you looking forward to over the next three weeks? Well, our first grade side, unfortunately, are going to struggle in the main competition. Uh, they look like they might even miss the semis this year, which will be the first time in a number of years. But they have made the semi-finals in both the one-day competition and the uh, T20 competition this year. So uh, that's not too bad. Um, our under-21 side's in the semi-finals and our Green Shield side made the semi-finals this year. So it's another pretty good year for St George. Not quite up there like we've, we've been winning the comp for a few years now. So. Uh, uh, it's difficult when you don't have your, your gun players, Moses Henriques, Trent Copeland, uh, Josh Hazelwood, Curtis Patterson. They're not always there, and that makes it very difficult. You mentioned Moses Henriques there. He's obviously a big acquisition uh, for you guys. What are you looking yep. forward to with having a player of his calibre at the club? Moses is a fantastic young man. He's been with our club now since he was a junior, came through the Green Shield. Uh, we're, we're, we're thrilled with his performance. Uh, we hope he does very well in South Africa if he gets an opportunity over there. And uh, he's, a, he's a wonderful young bloke and uh, a, a great uh, role model for all our other good cricketers. So as we touched on, you've been in one of their cars for a few months. What sort of relationship have you and the club enjoyed with, uh, with Tynans and with Adam Camilleri from our fleet department? It's a, a new relationship for us. Uh, Adam has been fantastic from the moment we, uh, we struck up this arrangement. Uh, he's, been, uh, he's been wonderful uh, and, uh, and I'm sure that that will continue. We, we, we look forward to a, a long-term relationship. We've obviously had some players and some uh, some family members from people involved with the club coming in and purchasing cars. Yep. What have they thought of the cars that they've got into? They've been been thrilled. They've been thrilled with the vehicles. Top quality. Uh, very very happy and and love this connection. Uh, um, so as I said, I hope it continues for a while. All right. Thanks very much for your time, John, and good luck to the club over the next three weeks. Thanks very much.